Today's video is sponsored by Woe Sport. Hi and welcome back to the channel, I'm Airsoft Mike. Remember in my previous video, I said I was gonna do one or two more videos of tactical equipment before I move back to the sidearms and the primaries and things like that. Now today, this is the fifth generation headset with sound pickup and noise reduction. And not only can it be attached to a helmet, it can be used as a standalone headset without the helmet. So let's just quickly show you around the box. Okay, let's get it open. So as you have seen by the video title, it's a product from Woe Sport. And you also get a quick start guide. Pretty decent actually. I was expecting no manual at all or something really basic. So yeah, it's in a different language on this side, but in English, on this side. Oh, and by the way, I'm fully aware that these look very familiar. <laughs> so in the package, you get a screwdriver and a couple of screws. You also get your mic. So I'll just give you a quick look around this headset. It does come in different colors. Now, those of you that know my loadout, you'll know why I've gone for this color, but I do have other uh, headsets that are pretty much identical to this, but these ones are by Woe Sport. So you've got your headband right there, so you can wear it over your head like that. You can actually disconnect this and put it straight on your fast helmet or similar helmets. Now, naturally, this headset can be used for your comms during gameplay and it's a noise reduction headset. Hence, it has a battery compartment for a AAA here and here. Now, because it can be used for your comms, let me just show you the plug on the other end you will need to purchase additional accessories like this push to talk adapter that I've got here, which will be connected to your radio of choice. And of course, your headset. Now this is a different headset on my massive action figure. I've got guarding my armory. <laughs> there they are, simple as that. There's your power button your increase and decrease controls for the volume. Now, before I continue, let's put it all together and then we'll continue with the features. Depending on your choice, you can have the mic on your left or your right hand side. So for now, let me just get this on this side. And if you look at either ear cup, you will see there's a mic socket. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug it in that one, the same side as the mic. There you go. And then of course, you can position the mic wherever you want. Now, if you've got a big head like me, you may want to adjust the actual size of this headset and you do so by just pulling on those where you can make this longer on either side. Now, whoa, where did you come from? Anyway, sorry. Right, now, as you can see, looking good, looking very tactical. However, look at this. 
Look how loose that is. Don't fret, because that's where these bad boys come into play. You grab your screwdriver and the supplied screw. You get two, so there is a spare one, which is good. Then you simply insert that screw right here. Now, you will see how effective that screw is now that it's installed. Remember when I flipped this, it was so loose, it just swung back again. Look, you can now position your mic anywhere you like. Nice. Okay, so one or two more quick features to show you. So you have your sound pickup here, which naturally will also be on the other side. Now, during the filming of this segment, I kind of felt I didn't really explain how that actually works. So I'm gonna do it now in this voiceover. So those rectangular shapes I just showed you, which have the uh, audio and sound pickup functionality, let me explain it this way. There's a microphone behind each one, okay? And a little windbreaker, some black foam. So effectively, they're guarding your ears. What they do is all the sounds, bangs, noises, pyros, whatever's going on around you during gameplay, anything that's too loud, those microphones will pick all of that sound up and dampen, reduce, somewhat cancel any bang or loud harsh noises. And of course, as shown earlier, you can increase your listening ability or decrease it by using these controls on the side. Now, when it comes to installing the headset onto your helmet, you are going to need additional equipment, or should I say additional accessories. They won't just go onto your side rail just like that. You will need rail adapters like this. Now, strictly speaking, it's a choice because you don't have to really take the headband off and attach those ear cups or the headset directly to the helmet. You could leave it all intact and actually put it over your head and your helmet will go over the headband. The headband is that thin and it will look like this. Oh, and by the way, Woe Sport wanted me to show you this bad boy, this gruesome looking mask. This one is called the Skull Messenger. Now, I'm not advocating this as iPro, but in terms of cosplay and many other applications, this thing looks awesome. And if you look on the back, you can see where you can literally install your own iPro if you're that way inclined or just have the ones that are in there but I am not advocating this as proper eye protection. It's just a cool looking mask. And got oh many boy, like here this. we go again. This mask looks exactly the same as Bell Workshop's masks. Ah, keep watching. I've got something to say near the end of this video. Oh, wow. Cool, so you, you get your strap so that you can uh, put this behind the back of your head, also including these. And as you can see, as depicted on the side of the box, you would use these to connect your mask to your helmet. But again, you don't have to use those extra straps to connect it to the helmet. Look, this has been applied without those extra straps. I'm just using the straps that would go around the back of your head. Ha. Awesome. So thank you to Woe Sport for sending me these products. I stop, 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 stop the music. I literally can't do this anymore. The last time I did a couple of Woe Sport products, they were a complete 
copy of an original product and I felt so bad afterwards that I, I, I've i now removed those videos. If you check, those videos have now gone. Here I am doing these and I'm thinking again, I, I'm torn because if we were to apply the same principle to most of our airsoft guns, we should only be buying officially licensed airsoft guns. But we all know that most of us don't. All your other brands, apart from the ones that are officially licensed, should they be viewed the same as products like this? Hopefully, you should have worked out by now that today's video is totally different. I'm running the risk of the wrath, the anger from Sport for doing this. I'm not going to tell you to buy these products. There's going to be no links in the video description. I'm showing you two products. They're literally copies of original products. Now, I think to myself, what if I designed something? My blood, sweat and tears went into something and I put it out there on the market and then somebody else copied it and sold it for a fraction of the price. Inferior quality. How would I feel? Yeah, tell me your thoughts. Let's do this. But keep in mind, is every single airsoft gun that you own officially licensed and blessed by the original real firearms manufacturer? Think about that first before you drop your comments. I'm Airsoft Mike and I'll catch you next time on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel. <clears throat>